Okay, so yes, um, I am going to start recording this call and I am going to make everything work. Okay. So um, the intro question for today is how do you go to the balcony? In the Graviton training, we uh, talked about going to the balcony as a metaphor uh, to return to your optimal arousal zone when, whenever you're in distress. And we talked that there are several methods to like uh, return to that optimal arousal zone whenever um, you feel that you're um, like, um, yeah, affected by something. And the way I like to go to the, to the balcony whenever I feel that I'm in distress is that I like to spend time with my family. Like, um, I'm very grateful for having a, a big family um, where I can rely and, and, and like, yeah, um, share with them. Um, I also like to play video games. Um, like, um, it's a, a great way for me to disconnect sometimes. And also I like to meditate. I think um, maybe I should meditate like in a regular, uh, like as a regular practice more often. But um, I think that at, uh, wh whenever I feel I'm in distress, I meditate and uh, that um, grounds me again. So yeah, that's the intro question. How do you go to the balcony, return to your optimal arousal zone when in distress? And uh, I want to pass it to Livy. Mm. Um, wow, I feel like there's so many ways. It depends on the type of the stress that is happening, but I think the one I use the most is dancing. Uh, whenever I feel like stressed or that something is too much, I, I just dance by myself or move my body. Um, I think, I think also it, spending time with friends is a good one, but now it's not that easy to do that. And, and doing something like disconnected, like, I don't know, like singing, uh, painting, like doing something like, of uh, too much connectivity. And I pass to Durgadas. I'm not sure what we're doing. The, qu the question... Are we checking in or is there a team? Um, the question is, how do you go to the balcony? Um, on the understood as, as uh, the metaphor of returning to your optimal arousal zone when in distress. Well, uh, I think one of the things I like about us first principles is that it's, it's a fairly good way to deal with things personally. So step number one boundaries, you know, so if, I, if I'm upset or something, <laughs> someone's upsetting me, I could set some boundaries, you know, to be clear with them. And then, you know, I can work my way down, um, you know, through that stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, my default state is um, going to be in by myself and processing and thinking and trying to sort out how to, um, you know, how is it that I can account for what's going on there while still, you know, maintaining uh, that solid foundation. So, uh, yeah, so I, I guess I would say that's, uh, that's pretty good, you know, boundaries and then and then making clear requests and uh, trying to formulate observations so the person doesn't feel like, uh, you know, they're being attacked. I had a situation just like this last night, actually, <laughs> with a person who's living here, and um, she has a dog. Um, and I have, uh, the dog has extreme separation anxiety and claws at my custom-made, one-of-a-kind, <laughs> front door to my yoga studio when she's in the building 
and I've just talked to her a million times about it. And it was just like, look, I just need to say this to you maybe in a, in a harsher way. So you understand what's going on. And, but, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I just basically just spent time by myself and then trying to, you know, then revisit the thing and, and clean it up after the fact. So, uh, I guess I will pass it to whoever hasn't gone yet. I don't know who that is. Bart. Yeah, I can go. Oh, same. Okay. I'm Nicole. Uh, yeah, so I got distracted. Uh, yeah, uh, for me, like I go to the balcony, like, for example, it depends on the emotion I'm feeling. If I feel rage, for example, I just would go to the gym. Uh, uh, and if I feel stressed, I would do some meditations. Like, it depends. If I'm bored, then I just play some video games. Like, it depends the emotion I'm feeling. Then, uh, yeah, I take one activity or another. Uh, and I'll pass it to Chui. I usually... Um... It's, uh, it's, 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 it's sometimes it's difficult for me because I, uh, even trying to do that, I get distracted, uh, even trying to just like, like get away or like come back to normal. Uh, I, I find myself just like picking up like small things that I've forgotten. And then like a bit, all of a sudden it's been like a couple of hours and I haven't been successful, uh, just like, uh, uh, letting go and, and, and disconnecting. So, uh, I, I feel that, uh, like it, it's uh, like activities that, that usually are more like, uh, like, uh, absorbing for me are, are, uh, like watching a movie or, or, or listening to music. Um, it's, uh, b b because it's like, if, if you're getting distracted from that, like if you're not getting the story, then you're not doing it right. So it's, uh. So, so I, that, that, that helps me, that helps me a lot. And also, uh, as, as Levy said, uh, uh, it's, it's very like weird, like as much, like as much as the, a year has passed already, like we're not getting used to like, like w w what is like, what is spending time with friends, uh, mean, uh, it's uh i think it's also like a privilege now it's not not really like hey like i just want to like clear my head let's hang out it's like there's so much catching up to do like uh, nowadays because like we never see each other anymore so i think even that is is is, is changing uh i used to uh enjoy a lot of, of like a company of people like to to get away from that but uh, it's interesting now that you mentioned it, Libby, because I, I think it's something that also has uh, changed. So, um, yeah, it, it's 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 just constantly finding uh, like new ways to to uh, to get away from what is causing uh, distress. But well, yeah, I, I guess I uh, that's what I can say about that. I'll pass it to Manu. Hey guys, uh, I'm a bit late. I'm not caught up with the question or what we are. Uh... Oh, sorry about that. It's uh, how do you uh, like go to the balcony or or it's like another way of saying uh, how do you um, uh, like get 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 away from like uh, the stuff that stresses you out and and how do you get in back to your zone? That yeah, that's oh oh, that's a good. That's a good one. I I go for a ride. I, I put music and I just, uh, I mean, if we've all been driving for, for so long that it's, I think it's just an autopilot sometimes and I just listen to music and I freestyle. You, you, you've you heard one of my songs. Uh, <laughs> I just put a song on and I freestyle and uh, I try to, you know, interesting because there's a there's an economic quality in in you know in like rap music they they talk a lot about possessions and about how they go about pursuing their goals violently sometimes illicitly and I'm thinking hey I want to rap about you know what we're doing at the tech and and you know steward stewarding and gardening resources so I just um, yeah I just start talking about it and 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 freestyling about it and he just clears my head so. <laughs> Uh, 
and uh, I don't know who's I don't know who's gone uh, or or who's left, but I'm gonna pass it to um, whoever think, wants it. But, but, who wants it? Someone to claim it. Barge you're, you're muted. and Dan. Barge and Dan are the ones that are missing. Got it. Got it. All right. Um, I think I all I need to go almost daily out to the balcony, and I'm doing it by. Uh, go for a walk in the forest. I I love the forest, so I, I have to go into the forest almost daily, and this keeps me um, and uh, that's why I, um, I I pay attention, or in this way I pay attention that I don't get stressed at all, or at least I try to be more balanced. And another thing that uh, lets me um, sorry I'm, I'm still searching for the words another thing that, that lets me dive into a, another world is, is by going jamming with my friends it's music playing music with friends it's it quiets me down a lot yeah um, I'll pass it to Dan Hey there. Um, what's the question again? How do you go to the balcony, return to your optimal arousal zone when in distress? I can't hear you, Juan. How, how do you go to the balcony, return to your optimal arousal zone when in distress? Um, so, like I said a lot, um, it's not like pure, uh, Buddhist meditation or anything. Cause I'm often like smoking a cigarette, uh, while I'm, while I'm sitting. Um, but it, it's, it's good for me. And, um, I take walks every day. Um, and also if I, I, I also collect links, you know, um, maybe I'm working on some project that I don't feel a hundred percent confident on, but I have some other project that's just like, oh, I got this whole row of places I could put a new link and I don't even have to think while doing it. Or I could think about anything while I'm doing it. And I spend a lot of my time uh, collecting links when I don't want to deal with whatever is immediately uh, vexing me. Nice. Nice. Well, um, it's amazing to see that um, all of us has different have, have different ways to, to, to go to the balcony. And uh, if you have if, and if you heard something that uh, you haven't tried and um, you feel that it can help you, um, well, you, you can like try to learn from, from what others do in this community. Like I feel, I really feel that I need to start like walking again and going outside. I don't know, I, I am like really locked down and yeah, that, that's, that's also difficult. But uh, okay, so after this uh, intro question, we're going to start um, with the first topic um, of our meeting today. And this is something that uh, we were discussing about in the stewards call, that um, maybe there needs to be more transparency on the uh, processes that we are implementing in gravity. So like uh, there's this mediation form that um, I made and we have been using for the mediations we have had in gravity, but it hasn't like passed over an advice process. So um, I would like if we can have like a small advice uh, like session on this document um, so that we can post it in the forum and like every of the gravitons and anyone in the community uh, can uh, have the information of how do we um how, how do we have our mediation processes 
uh, our mediation sessions. So um, I'm going to explain a little bit about it. Um, this is like the form that uh, all of the gravitons uh, uh, should use for when having a mediation session. And we start with the organization name and then uh, gravity mediation session. Uh, the name of the participant, it also well can be like Discord handles. Uh, it depends on, on the way that uh, the, the, uh, the people prefer to be called. And the first point is uh, what we agree before starting the mediation session and is that the parties shall endeavor to settle the dispute set out in one scheduled mediation. I mean, it can like uh, be two or three mediation sessions, but the idea is to be the, le the least amount of mediation sessions possible so that um, it, it can be like efficient and um, there's no like overload of work for each case. If for any reason the mediator agreed upon the parties cannot or does not accept an invitation to mediate, then the parties can agree on choosing another mediator from the graviton list. The mediator shall endeavor to assist the parties to settle the dispute by agreement and unless agreed otherwise, the mediator shall not adjudicate the dispute, recommend a solution to the dispute, advise a party, on the merits of the disputes or negotiate a settlement of the dispute on behalf of a party. Yeah, we are we are not taking any parts in this in these uh, processes and we are only facilitating communication between parts. The mediator the mediator shall have the, the discretion to conduct the mediation of the dispute in such a manner as the mediator determines. Uh, yeah. Unless otherwise agreed in, in writing by the parties, the mediator shall be administered by the parties. The mediator shall communicate with the parties orally or in writing, together or individually, and may convene a meeting after consulting the parties. Each party undertakes to cooperate in good faith with the mediator in the conduct of the mediation of the dispute. The mediation processes, proceedings, shall be confidential and conducted without previous bias. The mediator shall not disclose to any person other than a party any information first obtained during the mediation of the dispute without the prior written consent of the parties unless compelled by law to do so. So um, yeah, this is like uh, the way we start our, the mediation sessions and um, we take notes from the mediation and we start uh, framing the mediation within the offner process uh, that is like nonviolent communication, where we start talking about what, what are the feelings and identifying, uh, identifying what are the feelings uh, that are being taken, in, taken into account uh, into the conflict. And uh, that way we then uh, formulate and identify the needs um, that each of the parts have. And then we make uh, a request on how can uh, the, the, the issue be, be solved. Uh, so after having this uh, like offner process of nonviolent communication, then we try to uh, have uh, a, a, a dialogue between parties about what can we learn from this situation. Um, this is like a signature that I have, but th this is like something I understand that uh, all gravitons like can um, go with it, or maybe if they don't feel so comfortable, like making a reconciliation ritual that is not like obliged. But it's good that after um, this mediation, we can have like a closing um, small uh, yeah ritual of, of the dispute where where the parties like um, say to one another that they value um, the, the, the other's position and that they don't want to uh, have this to affect the relationship and that the idea about this process is that um, we can uh, heal and continue moving forward. 
and uh, this is like uh, for for if there is an agreement on the issue uh, was there an agreement yes or no and describe the agreement if necessary this uh, document then is going to become confidential only by the parts and it will be kept in the gravity registry that is also confidential um, and only some of the gravitons have uh, access to it so what, what do you think about uh, this uh, mediation form? I, I did uh, feel like we kind of skipped over the Offner process pretty quickly. <laughs> um, so our, is maybe this isn't a place for describing that or, or how do we want to speak about that? Um, well, um, if, if, if you have any idea to improve, I would be glad to hear. Um, but like what I have been doing um, until now is to start like, hey, what have been your feelings in this conflict? How have you been feeling? And one, then what one says like, yeah, I feel that I have been, I don't know, undervalued. And uh, the other one feels that may, and the other one say, OK, maybe I have been I, I have felt like offended. Uh, by your attitude or by the attitude and like yeah but uh, after that we uh, we start talking about yeah the, the the needs and what do each anyone need but if you have any suggestion I, I would receive it uh, gladly yeah I would just say that um, you know speaking for myself um, it, in my in my view there there are kind of two different things right um, there's some qualitative things like, um, you know, uh, some time ago I borrowed this book from you <laughs> and you have not yet returned the, you know, so uh, a year ago I borrowed this book from you. <laughs> when are you going to return it to me? You know, and so that might be the source of the conflict in the sense that, you know, I haven't returned your book. And then, and then, then the feelings then come, you know, uh, the feelings then come after that. So there's oftentimes, uh, like, uh, a sort of a, you know, or you borrowed 50 bucks, you know, when am I going to get my 50 bucks? So that's the observation kind of thing, but there's skills around making observations that are like, you know, uh, when are you going to give me my fucking money? That's a, that's a really bad way to do that. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's an observation of evaluation. And then there's another way to say like, you know, uh, three months ago, you borrowed $50 from me, I'd, I'd like to know a date on which you're going to return that money. And so, so then, you know, that's an observation um, without evaluation. So then the next part is then, um, you know, because I'm feeling that every day that goes by, uh, that my money is in return, that uh, I'm, you, you don't value me as your friend or something. Do you see what I'm saying? So my point is, is um, uh, we often we often might um, project that the feeling is the most important part, but it also might be that, like, I need that $50 because I have a thing going on in my life. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it might actually need to start with the observation and not necessarily the feeling. So so what I like to do is um, approach this in a way where I, I, I say, so what's going on? And then the person, so I'm listening for um, if there's some practical thing that happened. And then sometimes people will throw it all together in one big mess. And it seems to me that it's part part of my job as a graviton to kind of break those things out and then see if I can't figure out a way to then reframe the person's um, where's my fucking money to, um, <laughs> you know, uh, three months ago you borrowed $50 from me. I'd like a date on which <laughs> to return that. And that's sort of my job as a mediator is to translate this. <laughs> this thing from from that into this other thing right and so it's it, it should be pretty obvious how i'm feeling if i'm saying it that way yeah, <laughs> so but... like you know what i have to say so my, my point is is that we often forget about the observation portion where we you know uh, we just allow this thing to happen but it's also useful to be able to parse and that's what's important for me about the often process is each uh, of the uh, ofnr parts have their own uh, specific uh, kinds of skills uh, and in parsing that, um, you know, I like to make sure that uh, we're aware of because as we're interpreting this form, we need to make sure that we kind of capture that, right? So my, my complaint kind of about the use of regular money is that, you know, in Hinduism, there are eight forms of wealth and I'd like to be able to express my gratitude towards somebody 
in a way that doesn't reduce everything down to uh, a coin or a, 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 you know what I mean? And, and so I, I'm just saying that uh, it seems to me that it's part and parcel to the, the, the mediation process itself is to gain resolution on these things um, well, um, for the benefit of everyone. So. I, I want to say something. And yeah, now that you say so, uh, I remember why did I left uh, uh, observation out of this mediation oh, form. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's because um, I think that this should be a, a process done previous to the mediation session. Because like, yeah, th this should be, the observation should be like done um, separately and then oh, like, Uh, join uh, uh, in the mediation session but uh, to express feelings because like if we let people express their what they like saw or, or like what they observate maybe that would take um, out the course of the discussion and maybe people can like go, start going through the branches or like start like in, uh, like um, yeah um, getting um, more aroused and my idea is that uh, this should be like very focused on like reaching an agreement and maybe if we like uh, listen too much on the observations maybe it would be harder to 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 reach an agreement if like um in within the ex expression of the observation like one says something that offends the other i think that part of the observation is better is best done like when you are uh, uh when you approach e each of the parts like individually because maybe um when people is expressing to you they would they would say something that maybe the other part won't like but that is like as you said the role of the graviton to take the message of of like of of where is my fucking money <laughs> to 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 the message of hey uh, maybe I, I I need um, this money and um, I, I I am feeling that uh, you are undervalued because of that action so yeah th this is something that maybe um, it's better to to be done previous to the mediation session but it's like framed in all the offner process yeah and 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 um... That, that may be true. Uh, the thing is, is that um, I, I I find that uh, a lot of times we um, I, I don't know how to say this other than just to kind of say it out loud is to just say it, it often feels extremely legal um, and extremely um, intellectual or somehow um, uh, it, you know, I don't know. It's just some, some, something about the, like everything that you wrote here just sounds very, very much like a contract of some kind, because I'm using technical terms that only exist in, in the, in the realm of this, this particular thing that we're dealing with. And, and so I almost feel like in, in many ways we, we, we would do well to, um, uh, to just state this in plainer language so that it was, it would be, um, less uh sort of um you, you know i mean i i see where this would go like if i was in something that that had such a scope and severity that it was working on a on a legal sort of standpoint or if i was dealing with you know huge numbers of people or huge amounts of money i'd probably want to address it more formally like this but in, in a general sense you know um uh yeah schedule one The, the whole mediation process and how technical it becomes is extremely intimidating uh, to me. And I would imagine that would be the potential for, um, but I, I would say that from my perspective, I would want to format the, 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 because in many ways, the observation that, that we agree to um, handle our observations in such a way that it is without evaluation. Because we're agreeing, we're agreeing to settle the dispute. That is, uh, uh, we're agreeing to actually handle the observation in a way that is um, qualitative or, and not, not with all the judgment sort of put into it. You, you, you follow me? Almost everything that I see in the we agree that is agreeing to, in some way, make an observation <laughs> that uh, uh, in the proper fashion. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, maybe the only like obstacle that I see in that is like in practice, it's Can so easy to like uh, light a match. Like, yeah, we are here to talk about getting an agreement and then you say something that don't doesn't like to the other part and, and it would be really easy for the other part to say, no, I felt offended. I am not reaching an agreement or yeah, it's it's like very easy. So uh, that's why I am being so careful on this. Uh, yeah, Dan. I see. Uh, can for one, can we get a link of this gravity med mediation form in our chat channel? Yes, of course. Of course. Yes, I will paste it. I've, in I, I've got it right here, so I'll put it. It's in the notes. Uh, Yeah, oh, it's sorry. in the notes, but it's just, yeah, it's, And, it's just not perfect. Well, um, also, um, we have been working in an easy step-by-step -step framing, framing of gravity's functions. And praise to Santi and Durgadas, because they have uh, helped me with this. We, there's, like, a lot of polishment to do, but, like, this is, like, the basic idea, and this is, like... Uh, the functions of gravity and we are making and we make identification of cases we make in invitations to attend um, a, a mediation process um, we hear and we listen to the refer referral of the disputes by the parties then we screen the dispute and then we conduct the ADR process and we have a post mediation administration and like a post ADR party responsibilities. So like the the why of I frame it in so much of a legal way is because, yeah, um, the idea of it is to be like very like uh, to serve as, as a legitimacy uh, procedure to have legis legitimacy in the procedure. So, yeah, that's why it's a little bit like legally framed. And uh, so that we can like uh, say that uh, these are like the responsibilities of the of the of, of the agreement and of the of the yeah of, of the process. So this is like more or less the 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 the, the functions that we are aiming to to have in gravity, um, helping in in the in the conflict management process. But it it still needs a lot of, of polishment to do. And yeah, no, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I, I'm just trying to figure out it. Um, yeah, I was trying to figure out why the ops. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like in many ways, um, the thing that you're you're assuming is that, that we've just got uh, two parties that are just going to go at each other sitting down at the table. Um, If we're talking about the, this is a mediation session. So, is there a pre-mediation session form like that they fill out that has the observations and the? Uh, or, well, or, that that is something that I think that um, the graviton does when the, when he approaches the parties before the meeting because like the idea of the meeting is not to be like an, uh, a a meeting without uh, previous work done. But uh, sure. instead of that, the idea is to before the meeting, you have you already have like um, mapped uh, the interests of each of the parties and you already have like a possible um, negotiated agreement. So you, you, you the idea of this is to for you to be able to to like control this environment for it to be the most safe possible. And yeah. Sure. So could we could we maybe say that the O part of the Offner process then would be the graviton mapping, and then we have like a graviton mapping form that would be created to help assist the gravitons in, in assembling that. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, and that's a great idea. I will I will have it like this. The observation without evaluation is very. Uh, difficult because, and I don't want to spend too much time on this right now on this call, but um, observe like just the way that we talk um, commonly is like, I felt disrespected. Well, I felt disrespected isn't a feeling. That's a judgment of what you think someone, 
how you think someone was treating you. So, um, but I do think also beyond that, um, this can be part of, like we have to work on um, making a step-by-step -step for new, for gravitons to be able to do the process. And right. so maybe um, refining this work. So we could have like a, a, a group of graviton that. forms that assist them in, in the, the processes, which are maybe this is like a customer facing or a, a participant facing or a party facing group, you know? Um, <clears throat> so we could sort of have that broken up. Yeah. And then all of that would be evidence or whatever for the... That's something that Le Levy had sa has said for, for some time. I want to hear from her. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I think a step-by-step -step is great, but I was also going to um, add, for example, having... So if we are basing uh, the way we act and uh, respond to conflicts and, and, and people from the base of NVC and Spire Dynamics to have some sort of... Um, I don't know if guidelines or like some constant processes of like what are these things meant in practice like for example what Dan said now that I feel disrespected is not uh, a feeling but a judgment of what the other person did like this is a uh, one of the cores of NVC is that whatever you're feeling, you're feeling, you, you own it. So a feeling is never a judgment of, of the other, you know, it would be a judgment if you said, uh, you disrespect me. Then when you're pointing to the other, that's, a uh, like, it could be a judgment, but if it's, you are feeling, uh, disrespected, then, then that's your feeling and that's all, all yours. And I think having a little bit of this uh, is, I don't know, it took me a long time to understand NVC, like years of doing trainings and, um, and watching stuff and like uh, reprogramming the language. So I think it's something that can always be resurfaced and and brought to gravitons with like more tangible practice as well. Maybe this can be in the steps, in the step by steps, and and have like a, a always a session in the gravity trainings. I mean, uh, calls to like practice a little bit. And Durga does might have some insights on this too. Yeah, I mean, for me, if I had a graviton mapping thing, I would. I would specifically direct somebody to say, listen for words ending in ED, because if you say, my, I feel disrespected, that's ending a word ending in ED, which is my evaluation of what you think I'm thinking, <laughs> as opposed to, you know, it's a disguise for an accurate representation of what feelings actually are. And so, um, so, um, so it's my job is as a graviton to have my ears open enough to be able to um, you know identify that kind of thing and so I think yeah we should we should have a kind of a, a breakdown of oftener for sort of the beginner uh, graviton and then uh, <clears throat> step them through some things um, you know maybe uh, Juan you and I or, or you and I Livy or whatever can, can listen to um, even there's like a uh three hour Marshall Rosenberg thing where we could block it off and say let's talk about feelings let's talk about needs let's talk about observations because he gives some very nice uh examples inside of there so we could maybe create the form uh, based on that kind of thing yeah I and super... the feelings and needs wheels I think I already provided a lot of those uh in the gravity gravity group so we can have a way of kind of connecting that so we could put those in there 
And then if we need any graphics created around those things, I'm happy to do that uh, as well. I super like these ideas. I feel um, all of them are really good. And yeah, and yeah, like one of the things of this sprint uh, is to um, be more transparent on gravity. So I think that um, all these ideas are really great and maybe it would be good if we can uh, have like a hack session for these topics. Uh, I feel there's like an open mic. Sorry. Yeah, I think that's Dan. Yeah. Oh, I, sorry. Okay. And um, I, I would love to have a, a hack session on for this, for this topic. I propose um, next Tuesday after uh, SoftGov. To, to talk especially about this part of how to uh, have the, the graviton mapping. And like I have some, some um, images and um, like uh, processes that I took from a manual of nonviolent communication and of um, ADR. But the thing is that they are framed in this legal and in this like uh, um, language and we should yeah. like translate it into the glossary and into the words that we are using like instead of mediators use like gravitons and instead of using like ADR center you use gra uh, gravity and yeah um, I will share that in this post and in, in this uh, note as well but um, I want to have also uh, time to talk about the gravity survey and I don't know, Dan, if you want to lead uh, this uh, conversation on the on the survey. Sure. <clears throat> so I've gradually been kind of shifting everything around in here, moving all the stuff that's not quite a survey uh, into the periphery and um, I, you know, we had a few different uh, sessions where we like brainstormed on questions and so I took all that and try to narrow them down to the different types of questions that we want to ask. I don't know if I got them all, but I think that this is pretty close and it might be too many questions also. Um, so I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if you want me to like read them out loud. Um, or like I, we just start with what asking what decentralized organizations and communities you've participated in, um, and then then start looking for the common the what are the sources of conflict. Um, and I did try a little bit to map each question to observation feeling need, but. Um, you know, they're not, that could be done, that could be like iterated on a little more. Um, what are you of patient are most willing to address? Yeah, why don't I just read them out loud? Yeah. Uh, what areas of friction are most urgent to address? What are the most challenging conflicts to manage? Do you have practices or does your organization have practices to help maintain a healthy atmosphere? What practices for promoting positive communi community relationships do you wish your organization had? In what ways can or does your community generate trust for you? Um, and 
how does it establish trust among participants? I don't know if maybe those. What ways have you observed that the organization works to create trust? Yeah, the, the, is this? Well, there was like three different, there's like the question of what practices for promoting positive community relationships, um, which could also be trust generating. Um, and then there's what, how does the, how does your organization generate trust for you? Like, how do you develop your trust in your organization, but also among its participants? So I tried to like kind of break down each question into like, to be more specific. Um, so, so we know which just part. another filter through which you might um, see this is, have you, have you seen the, the quadrant model? We've got the I, and then we've got basically the, so it's like uh, the top half is the individual, the bottom half is the we. So the way that I typically describe it is I've got an individual in the top left who's engaging with a culture in the bottom left, who is creating systems and, and uh, things like gravity and transparency and, and, and all these different things are created inside of there with a result in the top right, you know? And so it might be that the person's um, thing they're asking about is, is like, I have this feeling about the culture, which has created this system, <laughs> which has had this result in the end. So, so the way that I typically work <clears throat> with that is just to walk around the thing uh, counterclockwise <clears throat> to tell the story. So if we're asking a survey, we've got an eye, who's either got a problem with the, the culture or the systems that that culture has created or some of the outcomes of that. So it might help you to frame questions that, you know, um, would be helpful. So maybe that's useful. What, what is that again? Uh, INTJ or something like that? No, no, that's a Myers-Briggs. That's a widely debunked thing, but, okay. um, I'll, I'll send uh, I'll send you the thing I'm talking about that might uh, be useful and we can talk about it. Uh, yeah. Um. As also, we talk about it, uh, guys, if, if you want, like. or perhaps I could just stick it in the. Can I stick it in the gravity survey at the bottom, maybe? If you if you throw it in that document, then I'll definitely uh I'll I'll be looking at it. Yes. Also, if you want, you can jump into the document and make a like a comment. Uh, so at the bottom of the gravity survey, I put the quadrant thing in, and yeah. we can have a separate meeting to talk about that if you like. Um, also, um, it would be good to work on the key of, of interpretation. Maybe um, we can uh, do that um, in another session for, for the interpretation of the survey. But I really like the way it's like looking and maybe we can try to like uh, start applying it um, for this next sprint that, that starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, le let's continue. Um, yeah, good job, Dan. Yeah, I, I, I really like uh, how it looks and I feel that we're gonna gather so much like valuable information. All right, um, yeah, we got 10 minutes left. There's 10 more questions, so why don't I just read the rest off real quick and then we can, uh, then we can do whatever. Um, do you have a system for managing conflicts that do occur? How comfortable are you when conflict arises? When are you reluctant to discuss or likely to ignore a problem which type of problems maybe just say which problems uh, do you think are commonly avoided but need to be addressed what would make these problems easier to manage would you actively participate in a mediation process to resolve an issue involving peers in the community what would you need to trust in a mediation process? 
in what ways does having conflict management uh, processes impact your sense of well-being? <clears throat> How would you prefer to address a challenging situation? And the options we have right here are, and the next three questions are like, I'll choose as many as apply. So for how to how to address the situation, report, discuss with leadership, discuss with peer directly, discuss with peer mediated, or mediated independently. How would you prefer to report the challenging situation? I don't really yep. understand how the uh, what they need this talk once. Um, well, the idea is like the idea is distinguishing between if the person wants to report the issue, if they just want a leader to contact directly, or if they don't want to deal with any of that, or if they want to only, you know, I, I don't know. I was just trying to think of the different ways that people might want to initiate this process yeah I, I understand that just the the wording it feels difficult to differentiate what would be what so like yeah, reporting yeah. to who or where uh discussing with leadership who is leadership um discuss with peer directly would that mean just a direct conversation with someone or yeah, discuss yeah. with peer meet. So maybe it could be, uh, I'll, I'll drop comments there. Yeah, that, that I, I agree. It's a little bit ambiguous there. Um, so can work on Yeah, that. it feels like that might benefit just from kind of a, a hack session or, or looking through comments. Well, I'm super happy that we have so much work to do and so much really uh, great things and and such a big ho horizon upon us because I, I, I really look forward uh, on what can we gather from, from this survey. And also, um, I'm super thankful about uh, having a hack session after SoftGob and um, also um manu when's that tuesday after soft gob yeah uh, next week yeah next week okay and we can keep working async in these documents and like present advances um i think that um i really like what durga said about um making forms for like uh, the observation process to frame the observation process and also um, I think that now that we um, agree on the questions we can keep working on the key for the interpretation of the survey yeah somewhere I have a workbook um, for nonviolent communication workshops so I'll try to find that and pull it out and see what what methods they use to parse those things out. You know, um, it's also true that that language can feel a little stilted and funny. Okay, that's a really good idea. <laughs> so, okay, I have to go, guys. Uh, but I, are we having a thing after this, uh, Juan? Um, after this, at one, I think we're. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just you and I. But okay. Yeah, we, uh, I'll we, check we it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's going to be like a short, like a scheduling for what you wanted to do. Uh, okay. Thanks. I want to Thanks, thank guys. everyone and uh, Manu. Um, please, um, as as the moderator, um, if if you can praise all the attendees, and yeah. Thanks everyone. There's so many things to do and there's a, a great horizon for, for gravity. Thank you, Juan. Yeah. See you later. All right, thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys.